Hello, MGTOW. Hello, men. This is Howard Dare. Thanks for stopping by. So, I want to show a news clip of Dr. Helen Smith and Lou Dobbs talking about issues facing men and boys. Basically, they're talking about hypergamy and the unfair environment for men and boys in our society. Now, the reason why I use these clips is because these people can state the case much more eloquently and directly than I can. And they also have you know, social authority. So it's much more meaningful when mainstream news reporters you know, and authors are talking about these issues than when Howard Dare is talking about these issues. I know, it's unbelievable. I don't think it's fair either. But that's just the way it is. So here's the clip. Let me know what you think about it. And please like, share, comment, subscribe, donate, and join me again, Howard Dare, as I plan to have more content for you. Thank you, MGTOW. That's fascinating to me because as, as we've just gone through, uh, all of the forces at work here to find that wages for men are actually less today, the median wage for men is less today than in 1968. Exactly. The implications of that are extraordinary. They can't support a family uh, on that median that's one of the reasons they can't they can't support families. So um, lower income women don't want men as often, and lower income men are getting let, married less and less at mm -hmm. all ages. And part of it is not just that they're going on strike, but the women a lot of times don't want lower level men. The other thing is women are becoming so highly educated now that they want higher level men, and the men don't want to go to college anymore because colleges have become so feminized in some sense that a lot of men don't. It starts early in the earlier grades. What, what do you mean? feminized. Uh, I, I think, I mean, that resonates, but what do you mean? I mean that everything has become about what girls need, what women need. It's not about what boys need. A lot of times boys are into mastery, can, they're into, an, you know, skill, competition, and our schools are so filled now with people who only look at sitting still, reading books that are yeah. basically for girls, and a lot of boys are interested in other things. They don't want to just sit still, and they want to learn in a different type of way, and the schools don't allow that. We have boys in this country who can't read, and nobody does anything about that. We also have so many female teachers. There are only 16% of teachers now are men in the elementary school. Is that right? Yes, and those female teachers, according to the, school, the London School of Economics, did a study, and they found that female teachers as a whole give lower marks to boys well, those son of the guns. Yes. Well, I don't know. Some of them. <laughs> oh. the, the, the reality is right now society uh, is becoming such a constrained place. The political mm -hmm. correctness, hidebound orthodoxies. Uh, women are doing well, but not mm -hmm. as well as it might be inferred. Right. For example, the Pew Research uh, study just recently showing that women well, were uh, amount to 40% of the breadwinners. Mm -hmm. But when you look at those numbers, 63% of those women are on average earning twenty three thousand yes. dollars a year right. they are effectively dependent on the state they are yes. not breadwinners it's the wrong term they're not they're not winning and there's not much bread there. but what's happening is they don't need men anymore you see no, the state, I, let state have become their husband the state is now the husband that's a great way to put it that's the exactly husband, what it is husbands state, are now expendable and the state isn't uh... Right. It's, a, it's a level of dependency uh, that uh, is going to alter the way we live.